TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. It's the warning screen. I'm positive nothing crazy goes on on this uh, episode. But if it does, I will be sure to block it out, YouTube. Because what we do want to create is a safe environment. Anyway, twitch.com, the lit one. Lock in. Patreon, we also got Patreon, you know, link below, and we got merch, and we got Reddit, reddit.com, T H E E L I T O N E, T H E E L I T underscore O N E. My bad. This is Wife Swap UK, season nine, episode eight. This is Pain versus Zender. Crazy names. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Before we get started, I see seven people left, and guess what happened? Emma Payne lives in Chesterfield with fiancé Lee Hamlin and their ten children. Mitchell C Ten children is insane. So you went into labor ten times and pushed ten babies out? Sixteen. Mason, fourteen. Jordan, thirteen. One Shannon, year. twelve. One year? Callum, eight. Dylan six, oh, okay. Ellie five, okay, one year. Fallon three, okay, two year Alfie break. eighteen months, and four month old Charlie. Well, that boy got in there quick. He got a he got a eighteen year old, an eighteen month and a twelve month old. Hey, you was you was nothing, wasn't you? You hey you settle down, boy. Working mother Sam Zendel Ellis lives near Studley with her husband Darren and their two children, Moya three. And McCoy too. Sam also has a 13-year-old daughter, Ella, who stays with them once a month. The two wives have agreed to swap. Wait, what? Moya three, and McCoy too. Sam also has a 13-year-old daughter, Ella, who stays with them once a month. Once a month is not enough. For how the two long? Wives have agreed to swap lifestyles and homes for two weeks to see what they can learn about each other's lives. Imagine swapping wives and walking into a household with 10 kids when you got two. What? What happens when a career mum has to stay at home to look after 10 children? Yesterday, God, this... I came in and Alfie was on his own and he had that in his mouth. So why don't you bring it to attention as soon as it happened? Instead of leaving it to five or six things, no, this is bullshit, you can shit. How does a husband who likes structure react to a shake-up in the routine? I'm doing stuff that needs to be done for my family because you're just not Emma and you're not capable of being Emma. You just said... Go fuck yourself. Because you're just not Emma. The baby's smart. What are you doing? What is he doing? IT engineer? What's going on back there? You're not capable of being Emma. You've just said. Go fuck yourself. I am a guest in your house, and telling me to go f myself in front of all your children must make you really proud. I just realized we're watching the preview. Hold on now. And what happened? Chill. Let's all chill. Let's move along. There we go. Quick, quick, quick! Yay! Has everybody had a wash and brush the sink? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Emma Payne and Lee Hamlin are full-time parents yeah. to ten children. Being a mum means everything to me. You get so much love from these kids. Just looking at them and getting a smile and I love you. It's so rewarding. I'd say I'm a mum's own dad. For example, if ever... It, I mean, it is rewarding, but not 10 kids worth of rewards. Maybe two, three, four tops, but like 10? You did that 10 times. You, you gotta be in shambles down there. It's great. All right. Everything in this house were left to Emma. She'd have a life of hell, wouldn't she? A lot of people judge big families. They say that big families are uncontrollable, disrespectful, but until they actually meet one, 
hands on. They can't. Mum's a good mum because she like plays with us and she's funny and she does stuff with all of us. Yay! Ellie's turn. Who's talking? But it's not all fun and games when your mum and dad to ten kids. Buying food for a family of twelve is hectic. Is that a bag of dog food? We buy probably 18, 20 loaves of bread a week, um, 8 to 10 pints of milk a day. People are staring at us as if we're feeding 10,000. A day? Did she say 8 to 10 pints of milk per day? We gotta take a step back, man. We need to, we need to regroup. Hold on. No, you don't need to regroup. With 12 people. Need to go ahead and tie them tubes now. People living under one roof. Emma and Lee run their house with structure and discipline. Someone start taking these in. The family have set meal times. Right, who's been told off at school today then? And everyone mucks in with the chores. The soup look Mom nasty. Always needs help. And I wash the pots and brush the floor. Emma had her first. I will say, salute, they got 10 kids. No issues. That's WDNA. <laughs> First child when she was 16. Ten kids later and at the age of 34, she's hoping to pursue a career. I'm finding it difficult because I've got ten children for employers to take me on. Now, if I lied and said I'd got two, they'd probably accept me. Lie. But mum of two, Sam Zendel Ellis, has no such problems. She works full time running her own sweet shop. How about we go for icy cups? That's normally a favourite. Yeah. I think I'm far better as a working mother than I would be as a stay-at-home mother. I would be unhappy. Tie her tube, give him a vasectomy, who somebody get it done. You know what I'm saying? She's 36 though. Let's be real about it. Let's let's science says that it's almost the end of the road. So I mean you know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, they should have a discussion as a family and see who should potentially get it done. I am not an earth mother. Crafting and drawing and coloring and getting the plast seen out and doing- What do you mean? At 36? At 36, it ain't the end of the road? Talk to me. About about thirty eight after after thirty is a high risk pregnancy. We do know this stuff, right? At, 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 when you having kids after thirty, it's a high risk pregnancy. When you in your prime having kids is the best time. And when I say in your prime, go look it up. The best time to have a kid is in between the ages of. Don't quote me. This is science talking, or whatever. Somebody talking, not me. 18 and 25. Pump them out. They bound to be healthy. 100%. Messy play. I bought. Oh my God. Right. Sam and so husband Darren are parents to three-year-old Moya and two-year-old McCoy. Well, Sam I'm also has year another year daughter, 13-year-old See, now y'all saying 38. 38 is high risk. That's cap. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. What age is a high-risk pregnancy? Okay. Never mind. I was 35. 35. But nevertheless, my initial point was still right. So y'all argue with me to solidify what I said. She's 36. That's over 35. Come on now, talk to me. Ella, who has lived with her father since I'll she was three. three. Ella, that's enough. I don't really often come here anymore. At first it was hard. But I know. Because Ella lives with her dad, I have to mentally detach myself from her. But I regret completely leaving her with her dad. I would love her to live here with me. She doesn't want to. In Sam Zendel Ellis's house, although weekends are family. Of course not. That's a daughter that a mom left. At the end of the day, you leave your daughter as a mom. You, you, 
family time. So I'm doing three different meals tonight yeah. then. As a working mum who runs her own sweet shop, time is precious. <laughs> and juggling work and the kids can be an added strain. <laughs> Oi, stop you two! <laughs> Both Moyer and McCoy can be devil children. It's a constant battleground in this house. Let's do your fleece up. To grow Sam's business, Darren has put his carpentry work on hold to look after the kids and help out in the shop. That's my responsibility. I don't really have a designated role as such. I just do me bit. <laughs> but that's not quite how Sam sees it. I haven't checked my emails for two days. Despite putting in a full day's work, when Sam comes home, there's more work. Generally, most roles in the house are mine. With regards to Darren, he is like a fourth child because I do have to accommodate him like I do the children. <laughs> Bro, kicking it. <laughs> Ah, stand off that. Talk to me. And you should be ashamed of yourself as well, sir. You don't think you're out of the woods, buddy. You get talking about I gave up my job, bro. You willingly, you ran home to do this. Don't you feel demasculated, emasculated? What are you doing? Salute to that woman for going out, being a breadwinner, coming home and taking care of her family. You, sir, deserve a divorce. Nagging him to do things, getting him to do things, asking him to do things over and over again. That's not just me, though. Bringing him a cup? That's of... men in general. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't group us with you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Man, that is not real life. <laughs> you are li he is living. You are living. No, you have provided. You have provided a, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word, man? You have provided a simulation that your husband is loving on the daily basis. I'm telling you, when it comes to men, they're going to take as much as they can from you if you allow it. Put your foot down. <laughs> Forcing your man to be a man is crazy. You know, all right, whatever. It's the day of the swap, See, and like, the two wives like are it. preparing to leave home. But when you've got ten kids, saying goodbye can take yeah, some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you. See you later. I just hope the new wife looks after my kids. Before they meet their new husbands, Emma and Sam have a chance to explore their new homes. Oh, it smells lovely. Not finished decorating that yet. Three. It's ten kids. No. Two kids, I'd say. Right, I'm really hoping this is for the jumble sale because it says naught to three months on it, so otherwise it means I'm getting a newborn. A chilling out. Relaxing. Ma'am, you don't even know that you don't know you don't even understand what you just walked into. Mm. <laughs> Where dad please, I'd say. There are three beds, so there are one, two, three young boys in here. I found receipts for lots of up. sweets to the owner shop. We've obviously got a few girls as well now. I haven't found the baby one yet. So we're on to at least six children so Add, far. There you go. I've just seen bunk beds in another room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten children in this house. Oh my god! And there's two. The more I think about it, though, ten kids. As long as everybody is like, if I got a full time nanny, like an au pair, maybe two of them with ten kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I could, there's no way you could put 10 kid responsibility on your wife. I just don't feel like that is an appropriate thing to do. That is insane. 10 kids with an au pair, make sure everybody is get the attention they deserve. I'm going to rock out. You know what I'm mean? saying? 10 kids is not that bad. By the same woman, too, that's, that's very salutable. I know dudes that got like 12 kids by 12 different women. That's tough. The babies. Don't take well, care I don't of none think of I've them. got the patience for ten children. I've hardly got the patience for two. Each wife has left a written manual as a guide to the running of their home. Right. In terms of running our house, we run a tight ship. How could we not? 
Lee and I share most of the chores and the children are very good at doing their bit too. Lee seems quite involved in housework um, so far, so he does seem like he's a great help and he doesn't seem like he has to be asked to do things like my husband. I feel like I do everything in the house and Got Darren does very little. Yeah. So she's having to run a business, a house, I don't know how she puts up with. The most important thing in my life is my children and my partner. Nothing comes before them. I can think of nothing more rewarding than being a mother surrounded by my children. Ugh. It's the exact opposite of me. Being a mother isn't enough for me. I also have a daughter, Ella, 13, from a previous relationship. But Wait a minute. She lives with her dad. I was... Well, we know that, though. She just basically said it. Being a mother isn't enough for me. Which is an insane statement to make out loud. But I understand it, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have ambitions, but your ambitions got to come second to your kids once you have them. And in your first relationship, no offense, that is not what happened. That's why you sat back and you let that happen. You let, you let, oh, I wish I didn't let him. T no, you, you, exactly what you said. You let that man take her because being a mom wasn't enough and you wanted to figure some life stuff out. L mom. Say that the kids are definitely on par with the shop in terms of my priorities. Oh, my life. How can you say that? That's so terrible. See what I'm saying? Go back. Definitely on par with the shop. But hey. I also have a daughter, Ella, 13, from a previous relationship, but she lives with her dad. I would say that the kids are definitely on par with the shop in terms of my priorities. Oh, my life. How can you say that? Oh my God! This is a this is a terrible mother. I'm trying. See, I defended you. Now I got more information that you wrote down. You wrote that down. See, y'all have made me pull out the pointer flag, UK. No disrespect, but like that's that's tough. That is so terrible. No wonder daughter's not well. Talk to her. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, Sam. Hi, Ellie. Hello. My name's Dave. Okay, you're Ellie, Fallon, and Shannon. That should be quite good. I'm Sam. I'm Callum. Hi, Callum. Mason. Hi, Mason. Hi, Georgia. This is going to be impossible. Hi, Mitchell. Hi, uh, this is Alfie. Hello, Alfie. Hello. This is Charlie. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Hiya. 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 I'm Darren. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Ella. Hey, Moya. Hey, darling. Hello. <laughs> Come here. McCoy. Mwah. Hello, darling. I'm Emma. I've got ten children. Ten. ten. Yes. Oh, wow. So, can you imagine what your <laughs> mum is wow. thinking <laughs> right now? <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm shocked and I'm not even there. Ten children. God, that's a lot. No sooner than that. I, I, like, okay, let's, let's take some bets. Not bets, because I don't know if betting is... Let's, let's do some predictions here. Who do you think is going to fall in line easier? This husband. This husband right here. Or his wife. Who's going to accomplish or fall in line and be like, okay, this is smooth. Like, I could do this. This is easy. Who's going to have an easier time doing that? I'm 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 border I'm I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go with him. <laughs> Can you imagine what your mum is thinking right now? Yeah, I'm, go I'm, I'm shocked and I'm not even there. Ten children, God, that's a lot. No sooner than they've met, Darren is off to his weekly football match. Right, Daddy's got to go football. Emma's left to cook dinner for the kids, and unlike in her own home, the children choose what they want to eat. What would you like on your pasta? Cheese. Oh, do you like cheese? Yeah. Yeah? Will you eat it? Yeah? Good girl. So I'm putting pasta and butter on the plate. Yeah. She'll help herself to the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> right. I am so not a waitress. And I feel like one right now. So how you doing at your house? You got ten kids. You... Oh, they sir, they. I don't know. I was... After a busy day at work, the last thing I want is awkwardness. But I think Sam would benefit from just making one meal.
putting her foot down. She really needs to say it back. This is how it's going to be from now on. I need scrambled eggs. You don't need scrambled eggs. You'd like scrambled eggs. Why don't you try the pasta a bit more? She's so busy. Darren's got his football. Pasta his looks football. good. When does Sam get that break? All right. This is it then. You're going to be very brave eating my food, but I'll do my best. All right, wish me luck. Do you, want to, do you want to just sit and watch TV or whatever? Sam is facing her first night cooking for 12, but at the Hamlins, it's a team effort. I like to sort of be... it got to be a team effort. <laughs> ...spontaneous sometimes and do things like surprise holidays and buying the things. And, and it just, it's nice to just get reminded that she's appreciated. My husband doesn't ever do anything like that. It's a real problem in our house, because I do so much in our house. And I don't remember him ever really doing anything special. She might cheat. She might cheat in this episode. Has that ever happened? Spontaneous like that. It was just really nice to have somebody to help me do the dinner. It was wonderful. Lee is completely different to Darren's husband. Lee is, um, seems to be a very thoughtful person. And the, seems that's, to the disrespect to is crazy. Other people happy. I, with regards to the morning, I'm concerned that it's going to be really chaotic because we're on a tight deadline and there's a lot of children to get ready there. I'm kind of both excited and scared about what tomorrow is going to bring. I'm not even going to lie. When you have this much kids, you got to plan severely ahead. All outfits got to be laid out on the couch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, at the minimal... At least all outfits got to be laid out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, the older kids, y'all got to take care. No, no, no. I would even do the older kids, too, because I don't want them to, like, feel like I'm not giving them enough attention. So I do everybody, you know what I'm saying? Do everybody. I know the older kids are older, but when they make that decision to do it themselves, cool. But, like, having 12 kids, you got to make everybody feel like we're giving you attention. And... Doing that for them will give me a moment with them. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your priorities in, in order when you got 12 kids. You got to be able to on point. Huh? Working mum of two, Sam Zendel Ellis, is now living traditional mum, Emma Hamlin's life, looking after 10 kids. Wake up early. Are you all right to take that in? Yeah. You're amazing. I'm keeping you. If it was my life, I would be going to the shop sort of five, six days a week. Whereas here, every day, it's just about children and housework. Got to so be a small kids. Around the other troops. Getting ten kids up and seven ready for school is no easy task. But the Hamlins work as a team. OK, we've got to do your hair. I'm going to do... OK, Sam. Can I go um, on? Dylan. Dylan, have you got yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. This house doesn't seem to have as much of a, as a routine as I was first led to believe. It is organised chaos, and I think that it would probably be served better if the children had their assigned role. I don't know Sam that well yet, but... It's 12 of them. I get where she's going with it, but when you when you hit over seven... Oh, no, man. When you hit over four kids, five kids, it got, it got it's going to kind of be organised chaos. I feel I could... I could talk to him, I could have a laugh with him, do you know what I mean, so... I know he popping out kids, look at him, he got the... He, look, look at his outfit. He got the baby shower outfit on, right now, while he washing dishes, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Let's get tough out here. You never know, and Darren could go down on his list of friends. Could you do a little bit more here for me? Where's Alfie? Oh. Just to check he's all right. I'd just like to know he's with somebody in a room. Shannon, did you find Alfie? Yeah. He's in there. OK, cool. Alfie seems to wander around and I find him in lots of different places on his own a lot. I just went into the other room and he had a dice in his mouth. He's just at an age where he's just prone to so much danger. Normally, Emma Hamlin's morning involves cooking breakfast for a brood of ten. <laughs> But as a working mum, it's rush, rush, rush to get off to the sweet shop. You shut up. Oi. Don't do swearing. Hey, McCoy. Ooh. <laughs> I 
Like kids curse. It's such a joyous occasion. When, but not mine. Like I don't like it. But like when other people's kids curse, I'll be like, dang, your kid cursing. That's funny. Come here, please. Don't swear, babe. Come here. Have you finished your breakfast? Yeah. We'll go and eat your breakfast then, please. I was really disgusted that McCoy just swore and Darren did nothing. Yeah. Mitchell swore at me once and I chased him around the house with a bar of soap. Yeah. I've got ten children that are controllable. Huh? Bottle of soap is extreme. Like, all I have to do is tell my daughter don't say that and she literally cries for like five minutes just from the word don't say that because she internalizes that she's done something that she's not supposed to do and she genuine, genuine, I don't know how she feel about it, but she cry about it. And in this house, it seems like they are getting uncontrollable. They're gonna end up having kids that have got asbos. After a busy morning routine, stay-at-home mum Emma now faces a seven-hour shift in the shop. Oh, they smell lovely. They are lovely. Yeah. 88? Yes. It's okay. I've got to tell Darren what sort of life this is for Sam. She's getting up, doing the breakfast, getting the kids ready for the day. Shout out Jasper. Coming to the shop and Darren's doing what? Not a lot by all accounts. There's your two pence change. Right, thank you. Thanks ever so much. Nice to meet you. I so get our manual now. I'd love to sit him down and say, read this word for word and appreciate this woman. After spending the day at home with ten kids, Sam has a few issues to raise with Lee. The reason that I need to talk to you is I am getting concerned about Alfie because I feel that probably because Emma's not here, that he's um, getting into potentially dangerous situations. I really don't mean this is a criticism. I came in and Alfie was on his own and he had that in his mouth. OK? Yeah, so why, why didn't you tell me then? Or why didn't you just you tell me? You weren't around at the time. I just so where were they? I can't remember. You weren't in the room, but you weren't well, off. Well, well, you well, weren't well, off. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Like, you're criticising me, saying I'm not there with Alfie, no. but you don't know what we're doing. So at what time are I'm not criticising that you, you weren't are, there you with are, Alfie. Yeah, you are. You're criticising me on camera, on my children. No. So Rather well, than getting well, defensive, well, please let... Well, I'm going to defend myself. You're saying I'm shit dad. No, not... Dang, he just, this just went left crazy, didn't it? Oh, you didn't even let... It's a very argumentative person. Let me finish. I'm not saying for a minute that you're out in another room sat with your feet up, and I know this is hard to take, but please understand I've got to but go through is, this with you because... But, but the thing is, if I were busy doing something, Emma would always know where Alfie and Charlie is. Always. I can't be doing other things in the house that needs You're not to be shifting the responsibility of that onto me. I'm not shifting no I've brought it to your attention and that's not the only thing I need to bring to your attention. That's one of the things that I've found. And that's just bullshit, you can shit. Show it up your ass. <laughs> yes, somebody gets in that fucking car now and gets them about. Now can we talk That really went left. Talk about it not in front of the kids. I just don't want to talk to you, Sam. I said, well, why don't you go and have a cup of tea and calm down, then? I'm not going to calm down. This is my house. Don't dare tell me what to do. I'm, I'm asking you to calm down. House. I'm not trying to patronise you. Well, don't. This is my house. Children. Nah, he definitely do. She doing it. Like, I, I slightly see it. Why don't you calm down and get yourself a cup of tea? First and foremost, that's I'm a grown man. I don't want to do that. I want to I wanna talk about what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> see it? See? See, it's a lot. I, I'm not gonna say nothing. Just it, she's entitled to speak her mind, of course. But there's a lot of energy that's here. That's 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 kind of like you know what I'm saying. Oh, well, I don't talk about you in front of the kids. So I'm really sorry. All right, Are you all right? If things have gone wrong, why she dealt with it? Emma would. So she's clearly, obviously, not Emma, is she? But then again, she never could be Emma anyway. In no way, shape, or form. There's ten kids, though. After some time out, Lee's calmed down. I'm not going to put any blame on you whatsoever. I was wrong, right, in leaving you we all, we, we, with all the kids and to do the things with the kids, right, okay. and I'm wrong and I apologise. And how you've been with my kids 
any 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 dad would be proud to have you as a wife. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, me too. Sorry. He made it up. The shop might be closed, but according to Sam's manual, Emma's day's not over as she heads home to cook dinner for Darren and the kids. Hello. Oh yeah. Right, quick question. Okay. Um, rice. How do you do rice? Because I balls it up every time, basically. Can I, I ask you something? Yeah. In the manual. Yes. The Bible. Yes. It says that you never ever cook. It says that you do not a lot. Right. Okay. Maybe I do a lot more than she realises. I'm not saying that you're lying to me. No. But, That's fine. but it's like contradicting things. Hmm. I'll have to keep checking the manual. There's a bit of bullshit going about. It needs to be confronted. He tells me one thing, she tells me another. Who's doing that sleepy face, Dad? No one ever wants to hear that they're crap. Never say I'm perfect, not by a long <coughs> shot, but no one wants to hear their crap. That's that's so it's it's hard to it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, no, that's just human nature. Nobody ever wants to hear like <laughs> criticism. So I felt that when dude was getting criticized by his wife. But you know. Another issue in the manual that Emma's keen to explore is why Ella's lived with her father since she was three. It must have been so hard for your mum to make that decision. But I think she might feel guilty for doing that oh. in some way. Yeah, but she doesn't, she doesn't like, let it affect her very much. Do you think she's got this active life to stop thinking about emotional stuff? Um, it's a not possibility. Really, she just has a, like a, she's always had an energetic life. It's always, yeah, it's always been, busy, yeah, busy. Get up and go, really. I was talking to Ella earlier on and she straight away said that she's got a really good bond with her dad. She loves him to bits because he's always been there. And I felt a bit sad because she should still have that bond with Sam. It's the weekend and Emma Hamlin's back at work. I don't feel bad for the mom. That's the same situation I'm in. Don't feel bad, not one bit. Because at the end of the day, the moms be choosing that. So, I could care less. <laughs> it's weird being Sam, because in my home, I interact with the kids a lot more. In Sam's world, the priority is the shop, um, then the children, whereas really it needs to be the kids first. There you are. Thanks very much. Thanks. See you, bye. bye. As Emma arrives home to spend a night in, Darren has planned a night out for them both. Right. Tonight, can't go out because some Bible says Saturday evening, Darren might go to the pub or go to see his friend's band. It's extremely rare that I get to go out with my friends. Right. OK. OK, no, I'm, not, I'm just quite, uh, quite hurt by that, actually. Quite, actually. The truth hurt, there. Because that's nothing that's really pissed me off, to be honest. Darren was totally disgusted by what Sam's wrote in the manual for a Saturday evening. Um, by all accounts, it's a load of bullshit. I Why do you think she's done it, though? I have no idea at all. Mm. If that, if this that... is going to be an interesting, like, aftermath situation when they come together. Because I, I borderline want to say I believe it, but the way he acting, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. And the way she is, I don't know. I don't know. That bad and I'm such a lazy fucker and go out all the time and do fuck all without her. Well, what's, what's she wasted her time with me for? Right. With the manual in dispute, Emma decides to show it to Darren. <laughs> I'm en hemmed in on all sides by Darren and the kids. But Darren never offers to take control of things and let me relax. He makes me feel uncomfortable leaving him in charge. You want to cry? I know it. I'd like to know why she feels uncomfortable leaving. What she thinks I can't, I can't look after the kids, or what? Well, I would like to know what that's all about. Me too, because you couldn't look after your thirteen-year-old. 
So who are you to tell me what, what, who I can, what are you talking about? And you still don't prioritize your two kids first. The new ones. So how dare you? <laughs> They're my kids at the end of the day. She knows full well that I'd fucking walk through broken glass for them. So yeah. as for not being able to fucking trust me, like... One of you is lying yeah. and... I ain't even gonna lie, man. I, I, I think... I, I want to be on bro's side because of her past, his wife's past, because, like, I, I, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> uh, you can't tell me I don't know that type of person. That's a, never, don't want to hold no accountability, wants to go blame, project, not blame, not play blame game, but project. Like, I ain't going for that, man. I, I, know I believe he be doing him. But I also believe, like, it ain't to this extent. You? Yeah. And I feel that not everything in there is true. Yeah. Come here. I'm right. The warm embrace is crazy, yeah. ain't it? Feeling, um, it's I would have in my eyes is a really nice divorce. bloke. He's found out that his wife is now seeing him in a totally different light. It sounds like she wife got no respect for you. You just does not like him at all. None. And what's she doing with him? She's not happy. I'm just thinking if I'm so shit, why have we wasted all this time? Kids are not the reason to stay together. As much as as much as I love my kids, we can't keep making each other's lives a misery for it. My, my, my gut feeling is, is enough's enough. Let's not, let's not waste any more of each other's time. And watch when they get together. She goes, no, I didn't mean it like that. I, I, what, I, what I was saying was, shut up. I mean, sh Most of Sam's evenings are usually a mix of work and chores, but tonight it's family games at the Hamlins. <laughs> Simon says, Simon says, touch your ears, stroke your belly. Ooh. <laughs> Lee, your turn. Simon says, wiggle your toes. Which one? On the one that's on the floor. I've been much more patient with these children than I am with my own. And I've been having much more fun with these children than I do with my own. Oh my God, this lady gets worse and worse about it. That's making me reflect on some of the things that I'm lacking. As you should, you lack a lot. You lack a lot. In, in my own family life. I think Sam's nice and she's like, She's done good to get to know us, and I know it'll be scary to <coughs> find out that you're looking after ten kids, and she's done good. Coming in, baby. We're taking it off. Yeah. After last night, Darren's been reflecting on his relationship with Sam. I shaved it off because Sam's always said it makes me look too young, so I've kept it really for that reason because I've been unsure. But you know, at the moment, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. No, not Talk about it. Take it. Take your masculinity back. Do my hair off. No, that would be silly. There's a huge doubt in my mind at the moment, so yeah, I'm not just going to chuck it in because we'll see what happens from the end of this. I mean, I wouldn't have cut my mustache off, but I mean, okay. Maybe this might help her to realise that I'm not such a shit person. At the Hamlins, Lee's taken son Mason to football training, leaving Sam to juggle cooking a roast for 12 with keeping an eye on all the kids. Where are the children? I thought they were going out in the garden. What are you doing, Dylan? Are you sure you're shutting the gate? Come in, please, because there's nobody out here with you. I thought, I thought somebody was with you. No, Shannon's gone to the shop. Oh, what am I burning? What's going on? Whoa! Fallon says you're trying to hit her with something. You're not doing that. Well, I'm going to be watching out the window now, OK? <laughs> Bro, got a, what is those? 
Ain't that a sharp object? Like head shears? What is... All right. Now, shall I do the veg first or the chops? Oh, I'm stressed. I'm getting wrong. I'm getting really upset now. This goddamn kitchen, I feel like I'm, you know, from the moment I come in here, I haven't really left. I don't know whether Lee's back yet, so I need to check. This has been a miserable day for me. It's been probably my lowest point. I think your lowest point was saying that you like these kids more than you like yours. <laughs> you ain't say that verbatim, but you you definitely alluded to it. Um, I am getting very tense pay. about this rule change. Not for the children. I think it's going to be great for the children. I just don't believe that Lee is going to be receptive to it, and I think it's um, it's uh, affecting everything in me today. It's rule change day, and both wives are preparing to bring new regimes into their homes. You want to sit with Daddy? Right. Darren, I feel strongly that you are lovely people, but need guidance to become a lovely family. What's your name? It's time for you to see what Sam feels her life is like. So from now on, you will run the shop. And I will stay home with the children. Okay. Okay. You do all do a really good job of helping out in this house. Yeah. But it's very sort of hit and miss. And for the next few days, you've got your own jobs. So if they don't get done, the only person who you've got to blame is yourself. And I have actually written down a chore list which we'll look at after. Ella, I feel that your mum should make more of an effort to spend more one to one time with you. So each week, we now have Ella time, where you get to be with your mum alone. How do you feel about that? I'm hoping that the new rules that we put in place will contribute to helping and to Emma. Emma be able to work if she wants to. So as an experiment, I've got a part-time job. Parenting is the hardest job on the face of the earth. I don't know of a harder job. So I've arranged for me and you to just go out. It doesn't have to be for very long, but I want you to do it to see if you enjoy it and to remind you why you work so well together. Is that one all right? Fine. Well, good, because I'm really looking forward to that one. In my house, everyone pulls... Yeah, you might get some, because she ain't... She don't love her husband at all. She out here going on a date, a real-life date. That way, in your house, I see chaos. So there's no structure. So from now on, TV is off. And you will have to use your imagination on how else to occupy your children. They'll get used to doing something else then. OK. OK? Smoya, stop winding him up. Um, I think it'll work for, for the time, like, yeah, no problem. it take about three days, man. it take about three days. I know these things. <laughs> about three, four days. If your kid been watching TV all their life, it take about three, four days of no TV. They might ask here and there after that fourth day. I'm talking about toddlers now. I don't know nothing else about nothing else. But about four on that fourth day, they're going to be like, all right, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> We're done here. Let's get the perk. Let me, can I get some bubbles? Can I get some crayon? But you got to be actively doing stuff with them, though. As Darren is now doing Sam's role both at home and at work, he gets on with the chores, leaving Emma to be a hands on mum. Right oh, then, yeah. shall we do a muffum koi? Because I gave them a pen and a piece of paper and they were dra yeah. drawing around my hand. They got so into it. I've had all this one-to-one -one tonight and it's probably the most I've had in weeks. And I'm so proud of myself for bringing this into this family because I really think they needed it. Although the Hamlin kids do chores, Sam's now assigned them specific tasks so they know what they're supposed to be doing. So tidying up Callum and Dylan, they're going to need a bit of supervision with that and a bit of direction, you know, but that is their job. And if you don't see them doing it, you've got to let us know. So obviously, Ellie and uh, uh, Fallon haven't really got anything, but you can always... I think it's a good idea to try and get them to do a few bits, like pick this up, yeah. put that in the bin. I'm but very surprised at the rule changes. The hardest job. I feel there's been a lot of thought going into it, a lot of positive thought. 
He's got to put on one of Jordan's chores as well, getting in bath. Because <laughs> 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 he thinks that that's a chore. Gently. Let's, let's love each other. Oh, it's a brave set of rules I've put I in. gotta let them boys be boys, man. They, they boys. Go ahead, punch your brother. <laughs> but this is a house with ten children, so I've got to be hugely organised tomorrow as it's the first day and they're going to be looking to me. So uh, I've got to sleep well and make sure I've got all my wits about me for tomorrow. We're running late this morning. It's half past seven already. Sam's still in bed, fast asleep. Mason and Jordan are getting kitchen uniforms sorted for me. This rule change is not going to work for very long if I'm doing everything, is it? Hello. We're all late today, aren't we? But if it becomes a common occurrence, then I shall open my mouth and say something. As Darren is now working at the shop, Emma can be a stay-at-home mum and she's involving the kids in the housework. You're good at helping, McCoy. Well done. Moya. You can't come upstairs. Why? Because you can't. Why? Is it a surprise? Yeah, I hope I'm bringing structure to the house. The kids have calmed down loads just with me being in charge for one day. It's so cool. I said, was that a roach? Was that a roach on the wall? Yeah, I hope yeah, I'm bringing yeah. structure to the house. The kids have calmed down loads just with me being in charge for one day. It's so cool. Can I open now? Wow! Yay, Moya! You're such a good girl! Yeah. At the Hamlins, Sam is now up. Under her rules, everyone has specific chores to do. But Lee suddenly decides he needs to go out. Well, it's half past nine now. Yeah, but how far is Sheffield? About half an hour away. So how long is it going to take to get ready? I'm trying to get in my head because I can't do a schedule if you're going to be back at dinner time. I'll get back as quick as I can. Oh. But I, so. I, thank you, darling, that's my fault. Um, but I need, I need help with, with, from you tonight. So while Sam, I'm, I need a job up this morning, but you're snoozing yeah. away in bed. You know what I mean? You could have woke me up. I've got to get you stuff done. Up. I've Don't got to get stuff done. I've got to get stuff done, tough. It's, it's right? not, no. I've got to get I stuff thought, done. All right. So first, first day of the new rules, and your attitude to that is, I'm doing what I want to do regardless. No, I'm not I'm doing right. what I've got to do. I'm because doing what needs to be done. I'm doing what needs to be done for my family. Why is it every time we have a conversation or disagreement, you have to start bellowing? I'm doing stuff what needs to be done for my family because you're just not Emma you, you and you're not said, capable of being Emma. You've, you've just said that basically you've got tea time to watch Sam, seven hours Sam, to go to Sheffield, start some paperwork. Sam, go boil your head, love. That's mature. Real mature, real close. So I'm sleeping in bed when kids need to be get sorted. You should have got me up then, babe. If you were going to use that as a martyr stick. Did she call him babe? Sleeping in bed when kids need to be get sorted. You should have got me up then, babe. If you were going to use... She's taking this wide swap a little bit too far, ain't she? Use that as a martyr stick. You should have woken me up. Oh, go fuck yourself. Nice. Don't defend her, Mitch. Oh, She's out of house yeah. today. She's gone. Do you know what? I really hope that Darren isn't treating your wife the way you're treating me. Because I tell you what, he's far more mature and far more classy to ever speak to somebody like that. Now he's far more submissive and he's far more further under my foot. My bad. I am a guest in your house and telling me to go F myself in front of all your children must make you really proud. You know what does make me proud? The woman that I've got, not you. It's, it's half past nine in the morning. I mean, yesterday's clothes. Hey, I'm running about this morning like an headless chicken to make sure my kids at school. While she's in bedroom, sat on a lazy ass. That's not taking piss. Come on. Emma's coming home today. I said so. If you don't get her, I'll go and get her. Take your pick. It's over. Out. Tell me now. You let me out for an hour, Sam. Sorry, Me, me, me. I just want her out me house. <laughs> Okay, well, this husband is not cooperative at all. Yo, just get her out of my house. Tell me why, though. 
I don't need to tell you why, just get out now. Right, this is my house. Right, get it out, right, mate. Just, just don't, don't all right, calm down, it's my fucking house. Get it out of my house. No. Yeah. Fucking get it out of my house. Cameras out. Yep, it's not like. A little bit controlling. A fucking animal. Yeah, he's had his girl since she was 16, so I'm pretty sure she. Now, 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 I'm. She might be a little brainwashed. Oh. In front of them kids, I haven't got to say goodbye to any of the children now. Dang, she really had to leave. <laughs> in Studley, things are going from strength to strength. Right, who's coming to give me a hand in the kitchen? Coming? Gonna help? Day one of the rule change is insane. Go to the boy, or are you gonna go and play in the garden for a bit? Oh, you wanna help daddy? Yeah. Okay, dad. The children are getting a bit more attention and they're more involved, and the family's not here, there, and there. They're all as one now. I hope Santa brings us lots of presents, says Tommy. Oh, and I can, where's, where's the cat? Reading the children's Where's stories is not something. Well, now, to be fair, his wife, what they were doing in his home was not, it was not orderly, it wasn't, nothing was. So, of course, when you try to go implement it somewhere else, it don't work really at your crib. He just was being, shh, you know, about it. You know. I think I've, I've done a great deal of uh, I enjoyed myself. Where's the dog? And it was nice yeah. for them. Where's the bunny rabbit? There. And where's the parrot? There. As Darren is looking after Moya and McCoy, yeah. Emma has time to spend with Ella. You're a big sister at home and at this home as well. Yeah, I'm God. just everywhere. So how many girls and how many boys have you got? I've got four girls and six boys. Girls are outnumbered. Yeah. Oh, this family, her family train, her family tree is intact for centuries. She's such a cool kid. She spoke about how she loves doing nails and makeovers and things, but she she has to do it with. Yeah, yeah. This this lady let Darren be a man, and he and and he the other husband is so used to being a man in his household, leading the household. She tried to come in and lead, like, you can't, there's no, like, how? Like, in a household, who, there can only be one leader. And are we not saying, are, is anybody disagreeing with me? Like, if the man is up to par, then he should be leading. Even if the, even if the woman is the breadwinner, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I like I let me lead, let me let me. You know what I'm saying? That that that's a us decision. Just because you get to make him up the bread, you pull it all in all the scratch. I'm still the man of this house. You understand? Like that? Like it gotta. I don't know, it gotta be like that, man. Or it ain't gonna it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work too much, man. With the friends because mum's quite busy, but she's so happy that we've done it tonight. I'm hoping that my mum will keep that ruling. Now, I ain't gonna lie, the woman of the house is the strategic backbone, <laughs> and she is necessary to run everything, but, like, let me feel like I'm leading. You know what I'm saying? Even if you gotta tactically come in and maneuver, maneuver what you want to be done, at, like, what you, like, you know what I'm saying? Behind, beside every man is a great woman. <laughs> so get in my ear and help me lead. Or give me direction. Give me, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk together and build a plan. But like, just straight leading is crazy. The one, one day a week alone with my mom thing. Because that's good. While Sam spends the night in a hotel... <laughs> Hey, this is peak. That Lee is funny. has time to calm down and think things through. Lee, be fair. I have decided to carry on with wife swap. I have decided Sam can come back tomorrow. But if she thinks there's going to be 
A lot of begging and apologies. Hang on. Out. Come on in. I'll take you back for you. Okay. <laughs> Lee's spirit is disturbed. <laughs> Do you want to come through to the kitchen? So I'm just going to uh, sort the breakfast stuff out while we're chatting, if that's all right with you. She came back. Everybody at school. Everybody, everything done. <laughs> Point proven. I do owe you an apology for insulting you. Bro, didn't you just say it wasn't going to be no apologising? Well, thank you for apologising, but I just want you to understand, I just don't want to get into any more long-winded conversations with you because I am afraid of what's going to happen. And, you know, and that's the, that's the honest truth. If you do decide over the next couple of days, there's things that you don't want to get off your chest. I owe you that to shut my mouth and listen. OK. Right? I owe you that, Sam. Thank you. I'm dying to... He got anger issues, though. ...see the kids. Right, well, can, can we just... Obviously, yeah. I'm going to approach it all with great trepidation, but I just want to get through one day um, without um, you know, uh, some sort of rock or something kicking off. Go sit down. Nah, day one was crazy, Lee. Day one of seven, you kicked off like this. At the table and eat. Sit at the table now, please. You don't walk away when there's food. In Studley, Emma Hamlin's... Can That's what I be trying to tell my daughter, like, sit down. Please. <laughs> Continuing with her no nonsense approach to the kids' new routine. I hear you. McCoy, McCoy, you are eating some. So all kids do that, huh? I hear you. McCoy. Push their plate like I won't push it back in front of you, bro. Go eat your food. McCoy, you are eating some. Don't eat it, but you have nothing else. You're staying there until you eat. No cap. Yeah. That's how you do it, low key. There's nothing left. You eat there. I, I, I call the shots at the end of the day. This is not a debate, buddy. There you go. <laughs> no one can seem to take control. No one's showing them the right way. They're just saying, yeah, go do whatever you want. When really, no, the children, they shouldn't be doing what they want. They should be showing boundaries. Do you like that bacon? Yeah. Well, try some then, and then you can go out. Good boy! Yay, McCoy! And the rest, that's... This is how you got to hit them, though. This is how you... When y'all have kids, watch this. When they get two... Th nah, when they get, like, three... Even two, you can start at two. When they start understanding, this is how you hit them. When you want them to do something, thank them for it. So let's say if you want them to go sit down and eat, thank you for going to go sit down and eat like a big girl. I appreciate it. They're going to walk right over there and sit down and start eating. I get, I watch. If you got kids, try it. Thank them before, beforehand. I, I just started doing that with my daughter like a week, two weeks ago. I'm, I'm 10 and 0. <laughs> Undefeated with that method. See, it's lovely, isn't it? As part of the new oh, that snap down, isn't it? rules, working mum Sam has a part time job at a local news agent. Hiya. That's it. 80 pence, please. She had to go to work. 20 pence change. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. 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 Cheers. God, I'm a natural. It's wonderful to be out of that house. It's wonderful to feel like a, an adult again and a woman, uh, you know, and an individual and not just a mother. Back home from work, Sam discovers that Lee hasn't done his share of the chores. The plan was that when we left at 11 o'clock, Lee would be going to the shop to get uh, some shoes for two of the children and get the salad for dinner. I came in here at three o'clock. I asked him who was picking up the children. He wasn't sure. And he said that he hadn't got the shoes and he hadn't got the salad. Lee is... <laughs> the word useful as a chocolate teapot. That would be from breakfast this morning, then I'll take it. I haven't been here. So I don't really understand what's happened today. Well, 
let's be frank. This is what you do at your house anyway. You go to work, you come home, and still continue to do stuff like so. Obviously, I didn't expect to come in and find the breakfast stuff there from this morning. For when you come in from dinner time, I'd, I wouldn't have thought that would be the norm if you've been at home all day. You told me not to do washing up. No, no, I said that I want the kids to look after things in the evening when they're at home. The rest of the time, it's up to me and you. All right. So... But the washing up's not, not my job. The My job is the, the washing and the drying. No, I, I think we've got confused then, because I, I thought I'd made it clear that that's their jobs when they're at home. But obviously, if they've been to school all day and you've been at home all day and Emma's been at home, I wouldn't expect them to clear up from this morning. So, so was I not clear about that then? Bro got the baby shower shirt on again? If y'all confused, like in America, this is the 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 out Burberry is baby shower uniform. You gotta wear this to your baby shower in America. Mm. I'm not wearing this, you know. I'm not wearing being spoke to like a child. I'm not wearing it, Sam. That's funny because I I'm having to, you know, you might take it as me speaking to you like a child, yeah. I'm just terrified of any way I say anything to you in any way, shape or form. So I'm sorry. Only another day. Oh, here I'm we sure. go. So you, you, sure here we go you again. Try. Straight I'm away. You. Straight away. Right. Uh, you, you haven't done. You know, I've, I've spoken to you really nicely about those rules. So it just seems to me, it doesn't matter how anybody approaches you, Lee. Um, if you don't like what you're hearing, you're going to find an excuse not to handle it. I'm and not. the latest one is, I'm speaking to you like a child. Yeah, you know, I, I really don't know how much I can take of this. You, how much you can take of it, yeah, because you've, you've been on the receiving end of lots of abuse, haven't you? It's stopping, right? Oh. It's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping. Oh, I'm going to blog ask you, it's stopping. Kerry! Give us a kiss. Mwah, thank you. Come and give me a cuddle, I've got to go. Can I have a... Well, that's the two days, it was so dumb. It's him, he, it was his fault, though. You're consecutive, consistently not trying to do stuff, like... Cuddle before I go. No, 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 no. I'll see you later. No, 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 no. That's it, no. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, darling. See you later. Yeah, he plays victim a lot. Later. But he's used to what he's used to. I'm sure yeah. later when he's calmed down, he'll stand there and say all the right things in all the right places. But it's just paying lip service because if he was truly sorry, he'd be learning from his mistakes and we wouldn't be here again within 10 minutes of being in the same room as each other. He's a selfish, selfish little man. In Chesterfield, Sam Zendel Ellis has spent a second night at a hotel. <laughs> Going into a house of 10 children, I had yeah. to either sink or swim. And I actually thought, based on my opinion of myself as a mother, that I would sink very quickly. Um, I haven't sunk, but that has mainly been down to those children. And I'm really gutted that I haven't got to say goodbye, that we didn't get to have our family night, um, you know, woke up this morning wanting to see them. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think I've really discovered a new side to me. As well as throwing Sam out... Yeah, it took somebody else's kids for you to wake up. And, and, and know that you could be a great mother. Lee's also insisting that the other side of the swap finishes. Hi, it's me. Are you all right? What's up? What the f is up? Yeah, I know. I've, I've, I know what she's like. I so know what she's like. I'm, I'm coming. It's all right. I'll not do the table meeting. I'll just come home. That's fine. Not a problem. No, no, no. We gotta do the table meeting. Come on. Karen. That's the appropriate amount of negativity that we strive to um, listen to. Come up here a minute, please. Sit down a minute. Um, Lee's called and enter the the swap. Right. Because he feels that Sam's a lunatic. Right. It <laughs> was true. True. And um, and for the past three days, he's been trying to put an end to it and things. OK. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Hand on me. Talk to me. I just feel... I feel so shit because things were going so well here. 
but Sam's, it seems, it could be that I'm wrong, but it seems like Sam's totally fucked it up at my house. Yeah. Express your feelings. Tell her how you feel. I'm gutted that I'm going home early, but my priorities are Lee, family and friends. So if they need me, that's where I'm going to be. Have a safe journey. See you later. Bye. Lee is a big baby. Bye. Bye. Can we please do the round table? Let's stop for a second. Let's see if we're going to get that. And we do not get a round table. You've been good. She got to work on herself a little bit. I feel like she did during that first week. When she was filling her the other mom's role, so <laughs> and he's a new man. Who so. decided it was going to be over then? He did. He kicked me out. He kicked me out in the street in my pajamas. If it wasn't for him, I'd have had a wonderful time. It's hard because there's right. ten kids, but yeah. he is just unreachable. I tried my hardest to be nice with the woman. Yeah, I've said no. all nice things about her. Made her welcome. Lee, cut it out. You're lying. Welcome and everything, but every opportunity she wanted in argument, she wanted tussling all the time. She just constantly wanted. Which is what her husband said. Her manual is nothing like her house. Right. And I think that I, I really tried to be honest about in the manual. I had some bits in that manual that has really, really broke me. In what way broke you? Yeah, in some of the things and what you what you think about me and that, and it's just been really hard. And we, we, it's something we need to talk about. But to be honest, I don't think there's anything that I haven't said to you. It, it sounded like the man is sitting here in her face expressing his feelings, and the comeback was, "It's not something I didn't say to your face." Come on, bro. Like I was an absolutely lazy pig who done nothing. And but there's nothing in that manual I haven't said to you. Oh my God! It continues. Well, I don't. Really, after what I've been through the last week, I don't really think that that's fair to bring that up to me at the moment. Well, I do because I think it needs to be said. Well, I don't think it needs to be said at the moment. Right. Well, that's your opinion, once. Yeah, stay on your ground. Yeah. No. See. No. This is it. I think if you genuinely put what you've written in that manual is is what you think about me, then I don't see why we're together anymore because. I'm just a waste of space. Okay, so I've just lived with the man. I've told you that's yeah. been abusive all week, and what you're now concerned about is how you feel. It's a month on. That's a wife. And family life is back to normal at the Hamlins. We don't want like a video. I think since. Okay, we don't care about this. They're eating bangers and mash. Okay. All right. I guess that's good. But like. The swap. I've realised what I've got. I see my life as being how I want it to be. You want liver, don't you, man? Yeah, well, I don't want He literally chose the perfect woman for him. Like, literally got her at the age that they were young, and, and you know what I'm saying, and has, I'm not going to say it, but has, I'll say it like this, brainwashed her into, not even, because it ain't a brainwash, like, yes. They have sculpted each other into the human beings that they want to be for each other. We never went into the swap because we got problems, you know, we, we didn't have any problems, we were happy with just us. But I think all it's done is made things stronger for us. But there are changes for Emma as a stay-at-home mum. I'm now doing a midwifery course full-time because I've got lots of experience in that field, obviously. One thing I've realised is that me and Emma need to spend time. That's good. Just me. At and least Emma. he got that. We need to be Lee and Emma as well as Mum and Dad. Who watching the kids? The swap has also had an impact at the Zendel Ellis's. Despite whatever flaws we have in our relationship, we want to make it work, and we want. This is how you know right now. I'm gonna tell you. If Bro got his mustache and his gold teeth back, she's back in control. To be the best sort of. Okay, he's still naked face. Okay. Team that we can be really. Do you mm. agree with that? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I would, I would, yeah. 
You don't want to be here. Well, we got we still got things we we got to work on, but yeah. Ready, steady. <sighs> Uh, they're probably not together anymore. Having enjoyed a being a mum of ten, Sam's outlook on parenting has changed. <laughs> if I push you too hard, you'll My attitude off. in respect of Ella and the impatience I had with Moira and McCoy since I've been back from the swap has been considerably different. I kind of made a, a decision while I was away that I would make a lot more effort with Ella when I got back. My relationship's improved quite a lot with everyone because um, like, we talk a lot more about things. Like, but before we might have been like a bit more quieter and stuff. One of the things I did get from living with Lee, it did make me reflect on the the nice qualities in Darren, particularly how much effort he puts into our relationship and his role as a father. The fact that Sam now now appreciates me a bit more um, is is a good thing, I suppose. It's about time, to be honest. Go on, you want to go really fast? Could see her her opinion of you at the beginning. Which I, I still think you don't like her, but Whee! if you say so, tell her leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post.